trouble with marriage or whatever trouble in the family. And I didn't say, well, I want my wife to be, I don't want me and my wife to be like that. And thank God we, we were, you know, met her at Duke's gym in, mm -hmm. in uh, 19, mm -hmm. 1970. Uh, <laughs> 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 Duke's gym. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> so all in all, I'd, I'd, you know, be out in the field and I'd be looking at them planes and all. And wasn't bringing my row up. Wouldn't be nobody but me and Mama. Yeah. And she'd look back. Boy, bring that row up. He better come over here. I said, oh, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I said, that's right. One day I'll be on you. So mm -hmm. got to Columbia. Go in Orlando, and uh, the Air Force wasn't like it is now. You walk out the door, and there's a plane. Mm -hmm. You got to walk out, and then you got the big ladder, big ladder you're going, or you're going to let you know, stop it, let the ladder you was on. You know, going in, in, in uh, where? Where you was at? In, uh, oh, the bridge. North Carolina. Yeah, the bridge. Mm -hmm. You get halfway up, according to how many people did it start shaking? Mm. And so then we left Columbia and we got in Atlanta, then they were more modern, so you walk out and you in the airport, you know. So got that behind me and all of that with me swimming and everything, couldn't swim a lick. <laughs> and uh guy came out and, and you go in and you take your swim trunks and you you get down, take down everything, and put your swim trucks on your head, and you cut the water on in the shower. You come out, and it's about 40 some degrees, raining, and you got all the little thing, and you got a little little heater on under the shed. You're sitting there shaking like Kate was a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. All right, who can swim? All the white boys. They <laughs> <laughs> jump in the pool. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't jump in, they get, they get on, the, on, the, on the platform, on the diving board, and step off, and go down, go down. Anyway, you look around, there's only a few, uh, no, he says, who can swim? I said, all right, y'all get over here. And who think you can swim? Yeah, all right, get right there. Who can't hit a lick? <laughs> Stay right there. So here I am starting off in the baby pool or whatever, and put my head under the water. And I'm building up my lungs, catching my, my ankles and everything and all. This was a Thursday. Went back that Friday. And wanted to go back Saturday, but it was closed. Went back that Monday and qualified. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, stepped off that pool on, that boat on, on that Monday. Then I still had to wait until uh, 70, you know, enough for 75 to come in to start our company. So got out of that, got out of that and everything, and one thing to another, one thing to another. Got, got out of boot camp, went to, uh, came home two weeks, and then went on over, went on over to, uh, left, left Charleston, went to Philly, left Philly, going to Road to Spain, Road to Spain, had to stay there two weeks until the ship get in Athens, Greece. Got over there. That was an experience. We left, got on the Liberty boat, going to the ship because it was too, it wasn't, it wasn't deep enough for the carrier to come in. And so, as we approached the ship, looking up, looking up, looking up, like the Empire State Building. Here I had one hand, one arm because I broke my my wrist in uh, boot camp. So I had to have my orders in one hand, in, in, in this hand, and my sea bag. <clears throat> Got halfway up and it started shaking because we had rough weather. Mm. As soon as I got on, the fellow from the quarter that came down and gave me a hand. And I uh, got on there and then we had to get on the way. Had to pull anchor because, like I said, we're looking all the way up like the Empire State Building ship was tossing. Like, you know, just like you got a little toy. Mm -hmm. And so we had to get on the way. And um, anyway, anyways, time went on, got my, 
Got my regular bump. Word got around to the supply officer that I was on board and I needed, uh, he needed a barber. So he said, all right, come on up and see me. He said, what you doing with a cast on? I said, well, sir, my, my wrist broke. He said, we're going up to sick bay and get it to cut it off. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, right, right, sir. I went up there, yeah, 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 and cut it off, and I couldn't move my wrist. And so he got cussed out right there. <laughs> we need people on here that can work. I don't know why they said you you're blind, blind. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and then he apologized. He said, it's not your fault, Seaman. He said, well, what you do, I'll let your supply officer know. You go back and you pack up your everything. And I had to fly off the next day. And left there, went back to Italy. And at the hospital there for overnight, and then left and went to Germany. Left Germany, came back to uh, Bethesda, Maryland. And uh, that was the weekend Herod was graduating from high school. And they did not want me to come home that, that Sunday, so I said, I told him, I said, well, is there anything that's being you away from the hospital. They said, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said, well, I'm gone. I said, my sister, I'm back in the States. I said, my, grad, my sister graduated, I'm gone. And uh, so when they went and told the front, I was in the restroom and they came back and said, oh, he gone, he gone. And so and then they came back to check and they, I was still there. And I said, now you get ready. And I came on my Charleston. Charleston, stayed down there, stayed down there. That was in May. And I got in, uh, got in the Real Navy, got in the Real Navy, started doing what I needed to do in August. Went to Little Creek, Virginia. And uh, that's where it took off at in the, the real, real Navy of the, of the amphibs. And uh, operating with, with Marines. Marines. When we took off, the Marines went with us. We took them, dropped them off sometimes. Sometimes they just stayed on in the way, doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but all in all, uh, after I got married in 75, we got married in 75. And uh, I said, okay, we, we left. Uh, Simpsonville and came down to Charleston. We was at Goose Creek. And uh, left Goose Creek. I got recruiting duty, recruiting duty orders in New York City. So I can really understand what they've been going on this week because I was in it. I was in it. We had a recruiting car parked out in uh, Bayshore, New York, Long Island, with ice about that thick mm. on it, and you couldn't get in it. You couldn't, you couldn't do nothing with it. You could leave it there until the sun, when the sun decided to, to uh, defrost it, and that's when you could get in. And so I can understand, I heard this morning about a lady was in, that got stranded in her vehicle for a week or five days. And so uh, my, my mind thought about that, but I said, no. I said, we wasn't in the car, mm -hmm. but how she gonna get stuck in her car for five days with this storm? So it can happen, I guess. Mm -hmm. So during that time, um, mm -hmm. Bess was in uh, Mumps Corner. Mm -hmm. I was in New York, and so that happened, that stayed away for like that about 90 days and then I came home and got busy because we didn't have housing. So, so then I got worried I had housing. I said, I got to go get my wife. And uh, lo and behold, lo and behold, this time went on, time went on. The next time we was part when she had to come home to see about, about Mama Emma. And, uh, and at the same time, she was ready to come home. I had to come home, wanted to come home to my uncle's funeral, 
couldn't get here because she was ready to come home. I said, all right, well, come on home. I won't be here. And so at that time, she informed me she, that was, she was pregnant and she was, you know, going to come home and get to adopt her. And so I cut it short. I had asked for two boys, but I wasn't, I wasn't asking for twins. <laughs> so don't get me wrong. And uh, at that time, at that time, we didn't have the luxury of, I don't even think we were asked about the, the ultrasounds or whatever it was you could tell, you know, what was what, because this, this was 77. Mm -hmm. This was 77. And uh, so Steve was supposed to be born in, in December. And she, Steve, Steve, you know, when, he, when his birthday is in January. <laughs> And so uh, he came along. Gracious goodness. <laughs> it's Jerry Crosby, great big, what a big <laughs> And so next one, that, uh, we were uh, uh, Sterling. Sterling, uh, we were at the hospital. And uh, didn't get quite the attention that Steve was because Steve, they didn't know what, what they were going to do. Every time you look around, there was another doctor with Steve. And uh, they didn't know whether they were a C-section, natural, or whatever, and all of this, and too big, too big, and all this. All this. I said, well, y'all got to do something, you know. <laughs> so, with, with, uh, and then they wanted us to walk, wanted to walk. And uh, we out there walking, well, this is a jet. I said, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. I said, okay, we'll get back to the bed. But they say, what? Well, I said, you say you're tired. Get to bed. <laughs> next thing, this was, you know, sleep. And then that's what started the dilation and everything. Yeah. But with Sterling, wasn't nobody around, wasn't nobody with me best in the room. And Bess said, oi, oi. And I had to call somebody. Damn, that quickie. That was Sterling. <laughs> Don't play no games. That was true. <laughs> You're welcome. So, everything was, uh, that was in 80. And, you know, back, you know, back was hot. You know, back to work, you're supposed to detail. Detail is the one who gives you the next assignments or whatever. So, it was approaching time to get out of New York. And he could, uh, Hey, we gonna send you to, we gonna send you to Iceland. I said, send who to Iceland? <laughs> <laughs> and you, you Chief Dowling. I said, yeah, I'm Chief Dowling. I said, uh, I'm not going to no Iceland. Yeah, well, we need you. I said, no, no, no. I'm not taking my wife and two babies mm -hmm. in no Iceland. And I done put all this time in three plus years in. In all of this coal in New York? I don't think so. I said, I'll talk to you later. So, a few more minutes. Call back. Meantime, I don't call Bess. I told her. And she said, you told him you ain't going to? I said, I told him I ain't going to. I said, hey, you and my, my two babies up there. And so, ooh, so, call her back in a few more minutes. The best you want to go to California? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. I'm the place I wanted to go. She said, you going to California? I said, we going to California. So they had to come home. Come home and uh, was home for, for Christmas. And uh, was supposed to be in California. I mean, uh, yeah, in California. Uh, then... Getting ready to go. In Bamberg, telling everybody so long and everything. Mm -hmm. Going to go back to Greenville and uh, leave from there. And uh, no, uh, had to get a, find out where to get a, a telegram and all in for me to take to Athens, Georgia to go to school. So I was delayed another, we were delayed another four to five weeks. And we didn't take off for California until I made, I made chief, I made chief and uh, on the way, on the way going to uh, 
California on like the 15th of, of uh, February of 80. And uh, we left when Steve was sick. And uh, Sterling was just resting back there in his big, a big carriage, mm -hmm. big carriage compartment of the carriage where you take it out. And, uh, mm -hmm. Or you could just set it in and then you could roll, mm -hmm. take it out, and then you could just put it on the seat. Mm -hmm. The seat belts and all of that wasn't in or all of that because there ain't no way you could seat belt that down, mm -hmm. you know. So you just back, back awesome. there, <laughs> you just back in a bunch of comp. <laughs> so he was just eating nanas and whatever and all of this, and we stopped. We stopped every night. We got there that Thursday. Thing about that, which is what's good. Like he was talking about fun. We had the funds or whatever, but you had to worry about or uh, think real hard about mature and what you bring in to make sure you got everything back in the vehicle so he didn't leave nothing, which was very important. Because sometimes it would probably be just better to replenish it, you know, buy it than go back trying to look for it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we got in California. Then Steve, no, you, you had a reaction or something. You got sick. Mm -hmm. You got sick then or whatever and was crying. You was crying. You was crying. And uh, so we was at that particular restaurant and everything. And so we met, met up with some other people or whatever. And uh, then we, we went out to, uh, and got, was supposed to be out at the uh, Point Magoo where, where uh, Reagan would always fly in, but uh, we couldn't stay out there because that was the air, that was the air station, but that's where they wanted us to stay. Meanwhile, the good Lord was looking out for us because all of that, you down here, and it was just like them trees, it was just like them trees where you, we saw a few minutes ago, they high and you down here. The mountains was all around and they just had all of that rain, all of that rain, and all the rattlesnakes, and they had the mudslide, and all of that came in, down, across the highway, in the people houses, had to move all of them out, and pay all of that money to the, uh, to the, the people that was there. So they said, well, they have a place out in Camarillo, you know, which was about five to six miles out back, right off of Highway 101. Where when chips used to come on, you see how we went on one. And uh, I said, okay, we went out there. And uh, in New York, we had we had a spacious place. And I guess that was the only thing we were used to what we, where we were. And uh, we got there, and it, it looked like a matchbox, considered, you know, compared to where we left. And uh, I said, well, two boys, you know, or two children. But they didn't care about if you you had two children out from different opposite sex, you know, then they would consider that, you know, so far as a three or two bedroom. Two boys, uh-uh, boy mm -hmm. got one, husband and wife got one, two bedroom. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, okay, got everything in, but we had a few boxes we didn't know that. Good Lord was <laughs> right there then. So the guy was getting ready to leave that was on the corner. Had the biggest house out there. Said, Chief, why don't you put in a request yet to move in my house? Hmm. I said, man, they ain't gonna put it. He said, what you got to lose? Hmm. He walked up, I said, hey, you got nothing to lose. Put it in, he brought it back, you approve. So, we got together and moved into the biggest house that Camarillo uh, naval naval uh, uh, housing. Three bedroom, plenty of room, big rooms, big driving carport, not a garage, just a drive-in with like five, five big storage areas outside. Mm. Individual where you could put your lock on, lock it up. Plenty of room. And so in time to leave there, you know, was, uh, we coming coming back to Maryland. 
coming to Maryland, and that was like leaving a big coming to a matchbox. Hmm. Yeah, like coming to a matchbox. So, got in Maryland. Didn't know what was what, didn't know what was what, what was going on, so somebody wanted to start jogging. And so, met these people right down in the corner. We were in a court, and uh, they were back here. So, like I said, somebody wanted to start jogging. And it was it was hilly, almost like, like uh, upstate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're... The, Beautiful. The upstate. terrain, the terrain where she had to, you know, jog. And uh, this was Annapolis, Maryland, at the Naval Academy. So most of the time they start out, they would warm up. They would warm up in the morning time and everything and all of this and then go jogging. I was, at that time I was working night. So most of the time when they would be jogging, I'd just be getting off. So the young lady said, uh, Jeff, said, I don't know what's wrong with this. Is you most of the time we warm up together and all but for the last two or three months. She just take off when I look, she all she already through. Mm. Say what? Yeah. She done all the way down and then back up and then back at the house. And they ain't say nothing. I say, what? So and then they say, I'm going to the dock. I said, so okay. And uh they come back in and uh, I ain't no pregnant. Giving me a giving me a pregnant test and all I ain't no pregnant and all this and all that. And so uh, but I know one thing, if I am, it better be a girl. I said I said, all you got to do I said, all you got to do I said, I asked for two boys, I said only thing you got to do is ask. Yeah, I am. I better be a I went on upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next thing I know, they done called or whatever. She went back over there and they said it was hot. And I was sales floor supervisor of the commissary. And I was looking at that, uh, that formula to see Sterling. Carnation milk. Steve was carnation milk. Infamil. Well, infamil. 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 But um, um, Steve had to get off of it. He got. He didn't. He couldn't tolerate it. He couldn't tolerate it that, that good. So uh, he he got off it early and started eating. And it would have it all in his head, food all in his head. You probably seen the pictures of him. But mm -hmm. He just enjoyed it. But Sterling was straight. Carnation milk. And uh what? Infant milk. The boys were both infant milk. This one was carnation milk. John Ray was carnation milk. You sure I think it was about carnation? I think he was on infant milk. But it didn't matter, he made it. Yeah, he made it. <laughs> 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 but anyway. Mm -hmm. That went on and all of this, and then uh, this one uh, one day, this Saturday, it was a Saturday, yeah. It was a Saturday. Miss needed the car came in, and she she going and had to stop at the at the uh, little mini mart, and she coming back in, she had the gate coming in, and she stopped at the mini mart, and then been her home, and somebody asked her when she was gonna have the baby. As soon as I get back home or whatever, all, I'm going to the hospital to wake, wake my husband up and be going to the hospital. So I was sleeping good. And, and she said, all right, Jeff, I got to go. So we, we came on. So I told Mama, I said, all right, Mama, I'll be back. Uh, uh, you know what to do. Just take care of Steve and Sterling. I'll be back. I'll let you know what's what. And that tells uh, the lady. Then pleaded with us so much, so much, and said, "Y'all, y'all show, y'all show, y'all don't want no more. Y'all show, y'all show." And uh, I said, "Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, but yeah, we were sure to. don't give, don't <laughs> give a word, don't give a word." She 
y'all do this so good. <laughs> so, but uh, Sterling was easy, and Chandra was quite like easy. You know, it wasn't as stressful. I'm saying that because it, it was less stressful for me than it was for the wife. But you know, it it takes a, you know. People say it doesn't take nothing from the husband, but it does, you know, doing it the whole time if you're there with it, you know. And uh, and thank God I wasn't deployed. I was there with all three. Yes, sir. I was there, and boom, I caught Sterling, and soon as Chandra, the lady came, you know, got her, she said, here, take your, take your daughter, because I didn't know about her either. I didn't know that, you know, only thing was, the only thing, I, how I knew that she was a girl was what mm -hmm. I told Bess. I said, you asked for a girl. And when the lady turned around, she said, here. And Chandra, Steve didn't open his eyes for a minute. And when I saw her, she said, here. Chandra's eyes was like that. Mm -hmm. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I smile. Mm -hmm. I say, whoa. And then I just had to bring on over. I just had to bring on over to Bessie. So that was two boys and one girl. Mm. And then I said, okay, okay, okay. We stayed there, stayed there. Wasn't no more for us. So then, uh, second daughter was London. Mm. <laughs> Lay down the line, you know, jump a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, thank God, I had uh, two, two grand boys there. I said, okay, somebody was looking for, looking for a, a girl, but we didn't get grand girl. We didn't get grand girl. And so, then, we got Nisha. Nisha. Nisha came in, and uh, well, before that, uh, Chandra got married and uh, uh, got pregnant, and then it was another grand boy, so three grand boys. I said, okay, no girl yet. So, okay, and I was all right. And so I said, well, got two daughters, two sons. Chandra got, got married, well, three, three sons. Three sons, but Todd was on board. And so, and had to get another, another girl. And so, and Nish came along. Nish came along, and another grand boy. And then here yeah. come grand girl. I said, all right, all right. <laughs> so, but I'm thankful, and, uh, you know, it's just what you ask good Lord for and behave yourself and uh, ask him for what you want. And lean not to your own understanding and he will, you know, provide and give you what you need. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Always be kind to each other. I thank y'all. Thank you, Dad. Sorry, it took so long to mm -hmm. tell you all about it, but you needed to know, and that's mm -hmm. how, for the most part, that's how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> As they say, that's my story, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sticking, sticking to it. it. <laughs>